What's going on everyone? Today we're going to be starting a brand new series on the channel of creating and developing a 5M server. This server is going to be a basic RP server, something that a lot of people seem to be trying to uh, figure out how to do. There's a lot of tutorials on the online, but I'm gonna make sure we go through every single detail. We're gonna be going through all the um, all the steps of creating a script, all, all like my thought process throughout something, uh, throughout developing something. And I'm gonna be doing my best to answer any questions that may arise for anyone who is watching the series and trying to do this along side um, the video. So without further ado, we're gonna start with making the actual server. So the first thing we wanna do is, is go to this website, all the links for um, everything's going to be down below. So we want to want to get the latest recommended. You could get whatever build you want, but we're going to get the latest recommended this is what everyone's going to probably want to do. We're going to open up the server right here. We're going to come to here, close out. And then next thing we're going to do is we're going to have a folder in our directory. You can put it wherever you want. This one's going to be in a folder called YouTube server. And I'm going to create a new folder in here called FX server open that in there I'm going to drag and drop all this right in there awesome now we have everything in here next thing we want to do is go down to where it says fx server this exe and we're just going to open that up real quick you close out of this and now we see we have a pin right there it says 7073. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna link it to the uh, the web browser page that opened up as soon as we open this. So if it doesn't open up, you wanna just close it out and try to do it again. If it doesn't go uh, happen again, what you could do is just go to your local host of the port 40120 slash auth if it doesn't open up, but it should. So we're gonna click link account. Continue. And now we're going to create a password for this uh, for this admin panel. This is a backward password, backup. So you can put whatever you want. That's between six and 24 characters, obviously. Uh, make sure you just click this uh, TOS and we'll click next. Now this is where we start setting up the actual server. So the first thing we want to do is we want to just click next right here. We're going to change this to uh, YouTube RP. It could be whatever uh, name you want to make your server. We have nice and simple. YouTube RP is my name. Name it whatever you want. Next, this is where you're going to start to get a little different on your preference of what you're doing. If you have a server template already made, uh, not a template, but you have server files already made. Let's say you are just got brought on as a developer for an existing existing server and you just got all their files. You're going to want to do existing server data. But for this uh, tutorial, we're going to go just do a popular recipe because this is the one that 99% of the people are going to be using. It's going to be uh, a choice between QB Core, ESX or a different sort of template that is available. So we're going to do popular recipe. Is a CFX default, and it's just the basics of what you are going to be getting if you just want to have a 5M server. So if you want to have a server and just have it set up for racing and stuff like that, not necessarily like an RP server, uh, you could collect this and then you could start adding on to it. But for us, we're going to do a QB framework. QB framework is a lot better than ESX. ESX, in my opinion, is absolute dog shit. If you want, you could do the Zap Hosting ESX pack. So if you have um, a profile with a Zap Hosting website, so you have a place to host your server, you could download this one. But for us, we're gonna do QB Core Framework. Now the data location, it's going to automatically select the folder for you. It's gonna be um, set up right here. In TX data, you see I already has some files there for you. And what we're gonna do is actually save it as this. This one's perfectly fine. So save. And now we're going to the recipe deployer. So like this. This is uh, the basic um, functions that's gonna be running when you wanna make the server. You don't have to do anything here. You can just click next. 
Now, the next thing is your license key. Make sure you don't show anyone your license key. I'm going to just go ahead and grab mine real quick. And if you uh, feel like your license key has been compromised, you can go ahead and regenerate in the key master website. Everything here is going to be blurred out so you can't see it. Now, what we're going to do is show database options. So now we need to get to the core of the database because without a, if you have a server, you will need a database. So what we want to do is we're going to download MariaDB and click download here and just download. You can do whatever your operating system is, your architecture. This is the default. It's what the majority of people are going to be running Windows x86, 64. Just click download. You can keep it. And then you can start this. So I already have it installed, so I'm not going to install anything. But here is where you're going to want to do everything for um, your database host, your port, and your username. Uh, so the root and the password, you can fill it out there. Once you have that downloaded, we're going to be going and look for Heidi SQL. So go to the downloads here, and then go. you want to want to install the installer. Keep it. Let it download. And then you're going to be just running this program and setting it up to go along with your database. It's uh, with your server. You just click next. Nothing really too much more to that. There's nothing really you have to worry about when it comes to installing it. So you just want to click this and then just run through the whole uh, run through everything. It's just quick low install. And it's perfect. Uh, yes, exit setup. So once you have that installed, you can just go to Heidi SQL and then you're going to see it. Yes, different sessions you can make. The main thing focus you want to do is you have the host IP. So this is your local host 127.0.0.1. This could also be uh, defined when you install your MariaDB and the root and the password. So for me personally, the database host is going to be local, local host. 3306 is the port that you're going to want to run for your database. This is important. If you don't have a 3306, it's not going to run properly. So make sure it's 3306 root or whatever your database username is, whatever you set it up as in MariaDB install and your password. I have my password right there and the database name. This is the database that's going to be generated for you when you uh, run your server. So you're going to run this recipe and now it's going to be downloading and installing everything. You can see that it's also doing it in your console right here. Make sure you keep this open. Do not close it. If it closes, you want to restart. And I would suggest honestly deleting all the files you had and just restarting from scratch. So we're going to let this download and then I'll come back once it's done downloading. Okay, so now the files have completely done downloading. So it's going to automatically open up this folder right here. It's going to have your resources, all your keep QB uh, files that are all the resources scripts are within your server. And it's also going to have my local PNG. So you could change this to whatever you want. And your server.cfg right here. This is going to have some valuable information. So make sure you don't uh, show this to anyone that has your license key right here. It's going to be blurred on my end, so you won't be able to use this license key. But if you have any other, uh, if you have any other resource you want to add, you could go ahead and go here, resources, QB, and this is where all the resources are going to be. We're going to get this, uh, get to that in the next video. This is just a video on setting up the server and getting you inside. So we're going to click next. And now we have all this. Now what we're going to do is save and run the server. And now we're in the TX admin panel. This is if you want to watch over your server while people are playing, this is where you could do it. We want to let everything do its first initial startup. So all these yarn protocols, all these yarn executions are going to be going on as we speak. And then once this is done, we're actually going to be going into 5M. Let's close this, this this 
as soon as this loads up, we are going to be hopping into our server to see if it is working properly. Now we're going to see that it has a local host button right here. If you do not have this, you can go to your settings, your interface, and make sure you set your local host port to 30120. Now we will connect to the PC. Now we see it runs on game version 2699. That's perfect. Okay. We'll just hit okay. And it's going to switch over to a different game build. A different game build is, um, the GTA um, update. So this is the, going to be the latest update that GTA has. I forgot what the latest one is. It's not the contract, but it's the one after the contract. So we're just gonna click okay, let it all restart. Once it does that, then we're going to be loading back into 5M and loading into the server. So now that we're loading into the server, you can see that there is a nice little preview screen it has be cool right here if you don't want this loading screen you can always change it within the resources and we'll go about that in a different video now you can see that we loaded into our server right now it's nice and simple nothing too crazy we're going to start actually getting to the bread and butter of working with this server See, it's QB, so it's going to automatically bring you to the character selection, so you don't have to worry about this. Empty slot, create character. John. Oh, honor. Nationality. You do whatever you like. Let's uh, bring him down to United States. Male. And then you can go. Here we are. Great character. Now uh, we just go here, pencil towers. Now this is where we can start actually working on changing our character. Let's just give him a nice little head. Now we have our own little 5M server and we can go through all the information, what to do uh, to create your own personal server, everything you could add on to everything in the next video. So that's gonna be it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop a question or comment down below. I'll be reading everything that shows up there. And I'm going to be going through more scripts on how to take this server that you have and making it more customizable to your liking. If you have any suggestions for future videos, feel free to leave another comment down below. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye bye.